Hi guys uh, and girls, it's Neil from Tax TV. Today I've got Dale and Andy on. <sighs> Gonna have a discussion about Blackpool game, the players, and going forward to end of season and then like into season. So, uh, yeah, where do we start? I mean, we got team lineup before the game, and obviously it came out then that lone players were going back to the parent clubs. Unusual. I kind of get it. We've got to give his own players some game time, but unusual that with like three of them players, but we've still got Vita. So Dale, what what short to come back with with that situation with lone players? And um, I was surprised to hear it, mate. To be fair, mm. um, I only got to know about twenty minutes before kickoff. Mm. Um, I were at, I were at work uh, until about six o'clock. Um, and got into town and then read my phone and, and just found out that Queen and Bassey had left. Um, I, th I think it might have, must have been a mutual decision because it just came out of the blue, you know what mm. I mean? And But we could have done with him yesterday. Um, I think that they've, they've put a little bit of positivity into the team. Um you know, with those couple of decent results that we had, um, especially Bassey, in my opinion, I think Bassey, hmm. I think he could be a possible summer transfer target. Possible, well, it could have been um, if we would have stayed up. I think um, Queener, he were, he were on and off, weren't he? Um, but on a good day, if you can catch him on a good day, he can change. He can change games. Um, but Bassi for me, what well, was um, a really good coup for us, um, mm. you know, especially with his assists, a couple of goals here and there. Um, yeah, it, listen, mate, it doesn't change the 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 confirmation of the season. It doesn't change the outcome of the season. It changes absolutely nothing, mate. Um, but yeah, I would be a little bit disappointed to be fair, but. We march on, don't we? Yeah, that's all we got to do. Andy, like I say, what Dale were on about the it won't like known until probably half an hour, an hour before the game, what were happening with players, Gomez, yeah. Vita and um, Bassi. It just goes to show though what, you know, reliant on them for them lone players via, you know, if it had been our players, it'd be a different kettle of fish, wouldn't it? But your take on lone players going back, you know, what it had missed yesterday. Um, well, it's only in hindsight, in it, really, but uh, I think it was. I don't think it helped um, Devaney's um, chances of going for the job. Um, yeah, it, it was a strange timing as well, wasn't it? Um, you know, just before game as well. Um, me and my dear daughter, we saw it while we were on bus on the way mm. to Burns. It, it was... In a way, not surprising, because, like, what's the point of him being there? Because there's no to play for. Um, mm. But, yeah, you could see, well, even with them in team, uh, has been flat anyway. Um, but, yeah, just, just strange timing, really. Um, I don't I know. Thought I don't know I thought, that yesterday. Yeah, I, I just thought it was, like, a, a weird... I don't know what it was. From going to ground, it was like a weird atmosphere. It sent flat. It just sent, you know, long, great attendance fear. It just sent to be, I don't know. It, for me, it, it, it was just like going through motions. It felt to me like a pre season game, mm. even before kickoff. Mm. Um, and I think that showed with attendance as well, really. Mm. Uh, it, it, yeah, just, just odd. I mean, credit to Blackpool, Dale. I mean, you know. You look mm -hmm. at, you know, a couple of seasons ago, what they were under shit with owners kind of thing. And it just goes to show, yeah, you, you can go through it, but also come out in it kind of thing. But I was looking at Blackpool, me, as a fan base, I thought, and they were saying it punty end, they were saying, you know, are they in promotion playoffs? Because noise and atmosphere they were making, it was like they were actually going for something. And I um, thought, fair play <clears> to them, me. Definitely, mate. I went to Blackpool. Um, I went to the Blackpool game. Oh, at Blackpool, um, at, yeah. At Blackpool. Mm. And the noise they made, you know, 
was unreal. The support mm. that they have was un, was unreal. Uh, the batters that day as well. Um, mm. That was one of the worst performances I've seen for a long time. Mm. Um, but yeah, you know, it's you can say it's all the other Pennines really in it. Blackpool. It's not. You know, it's a, a an hour and a half, two hour at most. Yeah, yeah. Um, on a Tuesday night, yeah, but it's still only a couple of hours away. Hmm. So you can't really, you know, expect less than a thousand. I, I think there were a couple. There were about a thousand and something like that. Yeah, several about fifteen hundred, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like, Which yeah. is fair, fair dues to him. And hmm. they've had a they've had a brilliant season. Hmm. Uh, they've only just come up. Um, and and to say and look at their manager. I've never heard of him. Hmm. Um. And and the, the, they're doing really well. Uh, the mid table, but for for a side that were were in desperate need of help, financial yeah. help, real bad, wasn't it? Yeah, the, it, it's unreal what they're doing. Um, and it, and we're heading the their way, like they were four or five seasons ago. Yeah, and that's cup. And then that's a cup, maybe three, four, five seasons in League One, possibly even more. Um, mm. if we don't get it sorted out. But yesterday, mate, it was it was just same old, same old, really, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I'm, I, dare I say I'm past caring. Um, I I'm, think a lot of fans are. You could tell that with attendance, couldn't you? We, you know, how many people were were not the kind of thing. I think a I lot think of people were, have done that, haven't they? I think there were more at Barra game than there were last night. To be fair, yeah, mm. <laughs> mm. you know yeah. what I mean, mm. and and. And and that's me just trying to joke it off, you know what I mean? Because there were a few just... people said they could have probably got everybody in West Stand and still had space if it had mm-hmm. like shut Ponty at West Stand down, which is fair yeah. comment, you know. And that were a few people mm-hmm. saying, but I didn't, I don't, uh, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm not having to go at fans or anything like that. I'm not. It's just the outcome no, of the season. I mean, and, and what you can't blame them because we have had to put up with it, especially when they've been going home and away. You know, they've been travelling about and. You know, against Huddersfield game, he, he, you know, Edge were dropped there and obviously player went and back. But I think what the only positive what could have been out in it is if for some kind of performance for you. Because I know uh, Martin Devaney will turn around and say him that he's wanted to do this impressing him and he didn't work out for him. He, you know, he held his hands up after he said he won't exactly how I wanted to go. Um, Andy, what, you know, we all. We all love Devaney, you know what it means to club and that. Mm. But would you ever mean running? I, no. I'm not just judging it on that thing as well. I'm not just judging it on that game because it's unfair to do that in such a short space of time. I no. still wanted to be involved in that setup because I, I, he knows the players. He knows the under 23 players like your Aiden Marsh, your Matty Wolves, your Ackroyd, yeah. your Winfields, but still getting back to fitness. Would you want him to be via or would you? No. No. No, not as head coach, no. Def- I've said that before. Um, it took over yesterday. Mm. Um, no, a big no f- for me, for uh, Devaney. Yeah, I think he's good um, coaching, fetching young and so. Um, but for first team, no, not for me. Um, and I don't think it's true we should be going down there. Um, you know, if and when he, he does fail as well, um, you know, it'll be clusters, you know, cheap option. Um, mm. Why tarnish uh, his name, what he's done for the club? Uh, no, it, it, we should be going down that option. We, we need, ideally, um, a manager that's got experience in lower leagues, um, somebody who's been there and done it. But let's be honest, we're not going to go down that route, are we? It's, it's pound to a penny, it's going to be another European uh, manager, but. I've said before, I'm, I don't care where they come from as long as they are up to standard to do a job. And last two managers aren't. They've been awful. Whether they've been backed or not, they've been awful. Um, and club themselves, uh, they really need to look at it now because if we take an unnecessary gamble next season, I, th- I think we're going to be in for a long, hard season. And it, yeah. it could be. It could be another disastrous season next season if we what do so, that. What someone said to me at Ponty and uh, Dale is, and I thought it were an old boy and all, he were pretty, well, meant to be 
uh, Mount and Ben in, in uh, Ponte and all. And you were on about, you know, situation regarding managing or head coach, what you want to call him now. But he, he come out with a comment and I thought, you know what? Yeah, he, you're right. Is that there's certain managers that's always been linked, like the Sam Wolf, you know, apparently Barnes has gone and asked him. He said, no, he's not right. No, he's not. And he turned around and he says, I don't want people like that. He said, I want a manager actually applying for a job for Barnes and saying, I want this job because I want to do X, Y, Z. Rather than club, go and ask a manager. Why don't the manager come and ask for a club? And I'm, I'm like, well, yeah, but I've, is anybody going to come in, bearing in mind situation that what we've got to work with? Could you see that happening? Could you know, has there been any managers, Dale, do you think could be like saying, you know what, I want to take this over there and check it up? Because we know about Warren, look, he said he did want to do it, didn't he? So mm -hmm. if the managers out there that said, I want to come in here, but you would have like, mm, no, nah, you're all right, but, you know. Well, I think the oh my, because said it before, and he said, I'd be, I'd, I want to come to Barnes, I just wait for him yeah. to you know to tell me. And I the more less turn, I said, yeah. No, no, I, I think it's a power, it's a power thing with, with board. I think they've got to make the decision, I think they've got to do everything. Um, they've got to get the manager in, they've got to sort the players out. I think it's just a very, very big power ego, you know. For, I don't see a manager actually handing in an application mm. for a job. Um, going back to the Devaney thing, I think I said to you last week, I, I said I would have him. I would. I mean, I know his reputation might be online and stuff like that, but wouldn't Mick McCarthy's reputation be online? Wouldn't Neil Redfern? See, I want, to, I, I want to have them two back and all. No. I, I wouldn't. But no, there are people no. that... Would, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's a few and reasons I, I, behind that. And I think that with... I saw, I told you, I, I, you know, we spoke about it last <coughs> week. I, I'd have Devaney and Dassel. I, I think, yeah, I think that, those yeah. I think those two... The young young managers, I know they haven't got experience, but Wayne Rooney had, had, had experience. Yeah, Derby's been sent down, but look what job he's done to get Derby... At a, at, a, at a stump, by the way, you know mm. what I mean. He's nearly, he's nearly done it. Is, in my opinion, is up there for one at managers at season. In my opinion, mm. I know, I know, relegation mm. is a massive, massive thing, but in my opinion, I'm fifty fifty with 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 that Devaney thing. Yeah, his reputation's online, but why not give him a chance in League One? Why not? He knows half at Acad he knows most at Academy. Arsenal knows most at Academy. You know, and I think with I think with an experienced third man, possibly. you know, we don't we don't know. We I mean I'd have I would have Devaney, but I would also ha I, I would I wouldn't as well. I, I I'm I'm with Andy. I think that an experienced manager is definitely needed with this team to pick them up, to have a sh uh, an arm round them, to get them going again. Um, but why not have somebody who knows the club as well as Devaney and Assel and, and you know, hmm. gamble. Have a gamble. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a gamble and it not working. It's just, I I'd rather have a gamble. I think we've come to the stage like now where we've we've had that many gambles over the past few seasons where it's yeah. gonna be if we gamble like now, not only is it gonna be such as like Devaney or Assel, you know, fans turn on them kind of thing, but it's gonna be make it even more a toxic place, if you know what I mean. I would would the fans turn on Devaney and Assel? I think they would. I think some did. I think some already has from last yeah. night. I, I, I think I think some would we, we've called it out on social media saying Devane is not man for a job. We don't want. I'm like, you got to be getting benefited out. He's, he's had like days. He's had a few days. You can't judge him on that. He's been put in that position mm -hmm. because uh, obviously what Poy did. And, you know, he come back with that. So for me, I, I, I was watching Devane last night, and he looked more vocal and animated. Oh, yeah. than yeah. did in six months, in like four or five months. Yeah, but when I see that, and then I'm looking at pitch, and I see players react or not react, not react to it. I'm thinking. It, for me, it needs someone fresh to come in, 
strong opinionated bloke and said, you know what, I ain't, if you're not going to talk line, you, you're going to be out. And that's it, for clean sweep. But yeah. still keep your Devaney veer because he'll know the characters. He'll know the characters of the, the youth set up uh, uh, together with Assel. So I, I still want them veer. For me, yeah. it needs it needs an overall. It needs a shake up because I think it can get to a stage like now where, and I, I might be wrong in this, Andy, I don't know, you, you know, I'll come back to you and Aldale, is that I think some of them players like now have got the seasons over. Yeah. Where's my future lie? And that for me is like going through motions, and it's like you still got it, a job to do for Barnsley. It will. Uh, I said exactly the same uh, to Maddie. Um, well, do it game yesterday. The matter as well had been playing in the flip flops yesterday because most of them uh, ready for the season to be over, and most of them, let's mm. be honest, are not going to be there. Um, it, like I said, that, mm. that's why I just had feeling um, like a. Um, a very, very early pre-season game for uh, next season. Mm. That's what it felt like to me. I, mm. I just didn't feel um, not at all. Um, and yeah, with lone players as well, although, yeah, they did well, but really, going that grand and yeah. we, we've, just got, we've just got relegated. <laughs> mm. I, I, I couldn't get my head around that. Mm. I, I mean, yeah, individually, uh, I, I think all three of them's done well, but I know I've been in fan we, zone and that, and for me, I think it should be left at that. Yeah, you know, I've I mean, seen like, before, but to go lap her on her with flowers, I'm thinking, yeah, I've no, stayed it, up. It, yeah, it, 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 well, I, are they are they having a laugh? Mm. All right, you know, we, we, mm. we've got relegated, we're bottom at league. Mm. We've got um, Derby get us 21 points. Um, start, yeah, and I don't take that away, yeah, so. Lapriona, no. Um, I, I just didn't get that. That that blew my mind. That did. Mm. Um, but going back to manager, um, in an ideal world, I know it won't happen. But, but in an ideal world, I would like to see uh, that Farker in who used to be at Norwich. Mm. Um, I think that's as close as we'd probably get to Ishmael. But again, like I say, it wouldn't happen. But that that would be my first choice. I think Dale as well. Just picking up on that, it's going. It, but we've all got his opinions about managers. You've like said Devaney and Assel, uh, Andy's like said we need an experienced you know manager from non leagues or no system. I'm like saying we need someone to come in and have a fresh. So it's it's going to be a divided opinion straight across the board. And I mm. think we all can agree, disagree, you know, disagree about stuff, and it's all about opinions. But is in respect to everybody, we've all got an opinion, and there'll be other people who's watching this. Uh, later on, is that no matter what manager, what we want, or a coach, what you want to call it, it's going to be an hard sell to whoever you want to bring in and say, this is what we're going to do, because we're going to have a look at playing squad, we're going to have a look at, you know, funds, what we've got available, we're going to look at position, what we're in, on and off at pitch, it's going to be an hard sell to get who we're going to get, who potentially we're going to get in, isn't it, Dale? Yeah, oh, definitely, mate. What, it's not just a man- simple, oh, we're, we're down, is manager. There's a lot more to that, isn't there? Well, mate, the, the, the job in hand is near on impossible hmm. for a manager to, to come to the to come to this club, work with the players that we've got, work with the board that we've got, is it's a massive task. Hmm. Uh, Neil, it's I feel sorry for a bloke whoever comes in. Um hmm. he's gonna have some he's gonna have some some balls of steel to to work with this to work with not just the owners but mm. the, the the whole club you know he's got to mm. get the fans on side straight away um he's got to get the players on side straight away he's got to trust does it will he trust the board you know he's got to work with them um, do they, there's a lot of they... questions you're answering. There's a lot of questions you're asking, and can you imagine the amount of answers it's going to take? So oh, you're oh, right, mate, Dale. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's 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 going to be a massive job mm. for whoever whoever it's going to be. And I, I agree with every single person here. It for me is got to be a British manager. It's got it's got to be or a well known foreign manager. And the, they're in many well-known foreign managers that are out of jobs at very moment in time, like this mm. Daniel Farker. 
it's it's it'll be money with him. Mm. You know, it'll, yeah, it'll yeah, be on yeah. it'll be on it'll be on millions. Mm. Um, there's I can't really think of many many off my head. There's, um, there's I think when season ends, like across Europe, there'll probably be a fair fair few more managers out to. I had to think so. Yeah. I've, I've waited on that and all. You don't know, do you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we'll, we'll leave it to the last minute anyway, without a doubt. I, I was just going to, yeah, have you all done Dale? Because I was just going to go on yeah, to Andy yeah, and follow yeah, up yeah, with that. On. Is that yeah. We're on about managers here, right? And here's one for you. So, a couple of, a couple of games to go at season's over. And I would like to see whether it's going to happen or not. It's another thing, you know what? Pounds they would have liked, but I would like to see a manager more or less meet next few weeks after season end to be coming in, assessing the squad before we even do yeah. a pre season or not like that. Because my worry is, is if we go on for say another month, the event is going to be in situation with to it pre season and this and other, and then a coach comes in and he might say, No, completely different, I don't want to do it this way. So again, it's mixed message again. What players yeah. have been brought in? Have they been brought in under the vein? Have they been brought in? So for me, I think, well, three games. So you're going to be looking at about a month roughly, aren't you, since poyer has gone. A couple of games, uh, weeks this season, then season over. So for yeah. me, I'd be looking at least, at least a couple of weeks after the season ended to get some kind of a manager or head coaching. Do you agree? Yeah, definitely. But... I don't expect us to do it because we, mm. we never do. Dilly do dally before you, didn't we? Yeah, we, we didn't do it like any other <clears> club <throat> all do it um, in EFL. Uh, we've always got to be different. Mm. Um, I mean, I hope we do. Uh, don't get me wrong because that's what it needs. But uh, now I'm half expecting them to uh, do all the They'll come in at last minute, uh, rush job to get a squad together. Um, then, yeah, um, you know. We're like wanting smokers before even seasons kicked off. Mm. Um, I hope I'm wrong, but mm. I've got all confidence in them no more. And it's sad for me to say that. Yeah. And, um, and we as fans, nah, we at least need the correct appointment as a manager. And it's chance now for the board, although it takes relegation to do it. Um, it's chance now for board to show fans that they actually um, give a toss about us and get a mate right manager in. Um, and show if they some don't, kind of ambition and intent. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and if they don't, like I say, it, to me, I think we're going to be in for a long season if they don't. And I'm preparing myself for crowds like the were yesterday, uh, if that's the case. And it, it's only just going to get worse. Mm. And it, it's very, very hard for me to say that because... Yeah, you know, I, I'm always looking up right side, but yeah. I've just got no confidence in them now. It, mm. It's it's shocking. Yeah, it hurts. I mean, like I've been doing these with your guys, um, and it'd be nice to come on and say we've, we've won and this over and try some positiveness, and it, it hurts because, like, when we do school predictions and that, and you want to say we're going to oh, two one or a one one, but it's it hurts yeah. when you got to say. I can't see us winning it, and it really does hurt because we all want Bounds to win. You know, we want Bounds to win bloody FA Cup and all job lot, but trebles and yeah. everything. Realistically, it's not going to happen, but deep down, it's in his blood. It's, you know, it's our club, it's a community, it's a close, close thing. And it hurts when we do these and we go into Preston game. And yeah, it's another kickoff and stuff like that. Preston will probably fetch a fair few of it because it's only about Pennines again. And I'm just leading up to it like, you know, two games left, Preston and West Brom away. I feel for fans what's been going all season, following them away, all of it, for one away win. And we're still there, you know, we're still there no matter what, through thick and thin, I get that. But at least show some passion, commitment and stuff like that, some belief for us. But at a minute, we've got no... And Dale, we're going to Preston game, and and, uh, and I'll let you uh, follow up on it, is that we're going to Preston game like now, nah, bearing in mind what crowd was, is it going to be any different on, on uh, Preston? Because I can't no. see it. No, I, I, think, I, see think, it. I think it'll be even less than me, Saturday. Honestly, well, do. Well, one, it's an half 12 kickoff, and two, it's on Sky. Uh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Who's, who's going to be up? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? Silly sod here. It was, it was my day off today, and I'm working Saturday. 
saw me day after day. I've worked half day today so I can finish half day Saturday to go to the match. And you're um, good to work, lad. Good to that's, work. Well, that's what, you know, but I thought if I get there early enough, I might be able to get a, a kick. You know, I used to play midfield when, when I was younger. I've got a strange name anyway. No, they'll bring you on a sub, so. like under Mark, and you can play midfield and put your right wing back or something. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I mean, yesterday, yesterday was just a was just a sham. It was just it was like going through motions, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, their first, their, their, their first goal. I mean, you know, we were too high up. Uh, great, good turn. push by him actually. Great, it, it great turn. Great well, yeah, it took great it well. Goal. Yeah, took two defenders out at situation where yeah. we a Cruyff turn and, and smashed it in back at net. Quality great finish. Not, yeah. Yeah. And then second goal was just, well, it was just it summed, some some Darcy. Same, really. same, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. same. Yeah. St- we know. We know what's going to happen, but we're too late to react. Yeah, but, but do you know what? I, I, I want to send a shout out to Remy Vita because he tried. He tried to yeah. beat his. He tried to beat his man. Yeah. It, sometimes it came off. Sometimes it didn't. He's mm. going to be another one. Um, that's. I'd try and get him. I think. Yeah, I think he's the. Yeah. I think he's the only person. I think. Do a job for we, us. We have got a buyout clause for him. Hmm. There is a yeah, that contracting it by him, yeah. yeah so. And there is a there is an option to buy for him. Hmm. I'd go for him because he's, he's a young lad. Yeah, he's he's played well. You know, he has he has took that left that left back spot as his own. Hmm. In my opinion, in my opinion, he's not a defensive left back. He's, he's a very attacking left back. Hmm. Yeah. Um, but I, I think I think Remy I think Remy Vita yesterday would we had some good interlinking passes going on. Um no came from him. Woodrow captain. Mads that 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 was another a little bit of a shock. Mads Anderson taking armband um Woodrow sorry taking armband off Mads Anderson. But you know what? Good because Mads Anderson ain't a captain. Um and it, and you know I, as a performance yesterday I I, I won't get more than a Five, six. Mm. Mm. I'll give him that. Mm. I mean, that, that, I'll finish off on this, and it's just what what uh, Andy, what Dale were on about. There is like Vita, made more or less made that his own position. And when you think about mm. it, you look at like partnerships, uh, chop and change it has been. Wouldn't it be good to have like an understanding? Like, yeah, Vita's like more attacking uh, left wing back, call, call it left wing back. Wouldn't it be nice to have someone always like in front of him, like Styles or a doer or whatever, and build that yeah. relationship up and know the game? And same yeah. at right, because Jordan Williams was started to come into it, but we yeah. haven't had that luxury, have we? We've, we've been, no. you know, two long players, well, except for two long players, two attacking long players were coming, Queen and Bassey, yeah? yeah? And yeah, they were playing at wings and were like inside forward kind of thing, we're building up a kind of rapport. Now, having players have gone back, it's like start all over again. Yeah, no. I know. Who's going to yeah. be playing in front of me? So it's that understanding again, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I agree with uh, Dale. I'd, I'd definitely try and, uh, if we've got first dibs on uh, Vita, yeah, I'd like to see him. Mm. Um, I just thought we show an interest because I think he'd be all right for us. Um, whether, I mean, personally, I think he might be too good for League One, but then again, that's what we need. We need yeah. something like that if we're going to be um, serious about doing all right next season. I'm getting back uh, up. I mean, I normally think that we're going to at least get in playoffs, but I don't think we will do next season. I think it'll just be like a, a rebuilding process. I think, club. I've always said, you know, mid, mid-table mid finish as it is now, if we're lucky. Yeah. And yeah. I think come summer, it's critical. We've got, you've got right man in, head coach, manager, and recruitment. I think for yeah. the next couple of months, it's, I think it's going to be crucial, me. It's probably yeah. one, one, one of the worst, worst summers. It's got to be one of the best summers, as in recruitment wise, and it ground running. Because my worry is, is that if if it's lackluster in pre season and we lose a couple of games at the beginning, can you imagine what it's going to be like? Jesus we Christ! Need, I'm, I'm we, need, we, need, we need we need we need six out and ten in. Mm-hmm. You know you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. We we need we need. There's most at bench need to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from, apart from Ondermark, Christy Davis, we've got to see him. You know, we've got to see him more. Um, I think we will. Ondermark, we've definitely got to see more. Um, 
Jack Aitchinson, he's going to come back next season. He's top. He's he's with Forest Green. Mm. With Forest Green buying for League One. Oh, nice, um, yeah. You know, Adebayo, he needs to go out at the door. George Miller, he needs to go out at the door. Uh, who else is there? Well, still got Patrick Schmidt out, aren't he? Patrick he's still out on loan. He's, he's, he's out sold. On loan. I mean, Thomas, another it, player out would, on loan. Would you keep Patrick Schmidt for next season if Woodrow or Morris goes? Would he want to come back? Well, <laughs> that's another thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, yeah. is he enjoying there's, life over here? Would I want to come back and league one now? See you later. I've gone. There's, yeah. uh, you know, and th- there's a lot of re- there's a lot, uh, there's there's a lot, there's a lot of, of questions to be answered, isn't there? Yeah, oh, a lot of questions. It, it's going to be interesting to see the return list, I think, as well. Mm. Yeah, end of the season. True. Mm. Yeah. We'll leave it on that. That might be another debate, that. Good good call, <laughs> that. A couple mm. of games to go on. They normally do it, don't they? Return list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll be yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's a good I call, mean, that. Nice I mean, one to tidy I, up on. Preston, Preston's going to be licking the lips, aren't they? I mean, oh, they yeah. just... They'd just come off for a thrashing from Blackburn. Um, yeah, far one, wasn't it? So, so yeah. they'll want to, they'll just come here and think, oh, do you know what? Oh, might be a free hit here. You know? True. So, Not to lose. No. Andy, Dale, thanks yeah. for joining me. People no watching, leave your likes and comments and subscribing below. Let us know your uh, return list, what we're just left on being. It might be another debate, but. Uh, so yeah, a couple of games to go, Preston and West Brom away. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. Uh, you Reds.